Hi, Cancers. Hi, welcome to your April 2020 reading. Um, you guys know I love to jump right in, but before we jump in, I just want to let you know if you'd like a personal reading, you can totally check the description box below. Oh, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I did it. I paused and I suppressed that sneeze somehow. Um, okay. Uh, yes, so you can sign up for a uh, reading with me if you'd like. Yay! I just added a new listing. It is a same-day reading. It's for seven bucks, 49 cents, USD, God bless. And uh, same-day reading, it's it's written. Uh, also, if you'd like to donate, that's always welcome. So thank you so much. Let's jump right in. So, uh, Cancer, God bless. Hi! Oh my gosh, hi. So if this reading resonates for you, then what I'm getting is that you have been given some kind of information. I see a lot of you, this is this has been through sleep for a lot of you. It's coming through very strong, actually, God bless. It's coming through as a lot of codes. Uh, um, I can't even speak it so much. Um, energetic codes. Now, literally, as I'm saying it, it's like literally pouring out right now. So if you're watching this video, you might actually be receiving these codes because it's literally pouring out and I can feel it in, on my face. And so some of you can possibly um, feel the sensation of those energetic codes coming in and so energetic codes are just information that are that is being um, uh, I guess downloaded for lack of a better word downloaded into your mainframe this is the word they're giving you <laughs> into your mainframe and so you'll hold on to those codes uh, until they're saying until such time <laughs> verbatim but um basically what they're saying is that yes this information gets downloaded to you to your sleeping form and um in this case you're okay there that's a double speak sleeping form because you're sometimes it's through sleep but right now you're awake and you're watching it but you're still sleeping you're not awakened yet is what they're saying so these codes are going to be held on to you and when they're ready to be released and integrated they will do so and they'll be triggered and it'll be released. So that information is coming in. Makes sense. Take a look at the next card. <laughs> Invitation to connect. There it is. This person's receiving. Right? So what they're saying is that um, you most likely have already received these codes. You will continue to. And what's going to happen next in the month of April, if it hasn't started already, is that you're going to be taking these codes and you're going to um, start applying them. So that a lot of them are going to start to be... Uh, start to uh, be integrated and you're going to start to feel them uh, and see them and experience them in your third in the third dimension in other words it's going to be made manifest look at how we have this beautiful crystalline city looking there and then here we have that looks very similar it's it's uh, mirrored but what what they're trying to show is this is the etheric form and then it's going to be made manifest and of course it looks a little bit different as it manifests here but that's fine you've gotten information they're showing that some of you may have some blockages still to, to be cleared. I'm seeing that here. So there's still codes that can be that can come in and integrate and be made manifest. But you see how this person still has a little bit of a block there and a little bit of a block there. So these things won't necessarily stop these codes from coming in. So fret and not some ideas. However, um, you will want to you will want to work on them because look what happens after that. See, she's received her codes. Look at the, look at all that galactic energy, all of that information. However, look at these blockages still there. One, two, three. Remember, we saw one, two, three blockages in there. She still is responsible for working through those things. But they're saying a lot of the codes that are coming in for you guys are past life ones. That's what I was feeling over there. Past life codes, a lot of things coming in. And, and these things will help you to um, work on these karmic blocks and to make these karmic shifts to get rid of some of these things so when we receive energetic downloads they're not necessarily bad they're great they help heighten us they help activate us they're great now the thing is it i was like why are they saying they're not bad i'm like they're always good but that's why they're saying it because look <laughs> that's what i love when the cards make sense okay because what happens is after you get your codes bam a lot of times it throws you into fits because it makes sense that it would throw you into fits. In a sense, you're going to have a little bit of a dark night of the soul. This is not the dark night of the soul card. This is the dark angel card, which is not as dark and hefty as the dark night of the soul. When you have a dark night of the soul, you're like losing stuff. You're losing jobs. Although right now I understand, right? But like you, I mean, all sorts of things. It's like the, your world is coming crashing down on you. Dark, the dark angel 
is not quite your rock bottom. So what they're saying here is that as these codes come in, a lot of them are going to be be triggering your desire and um, to release these shadows. So you're going to it's going to send you into shadow work and what happens is in the in the physical things start popping up events start happening to create the conditions for these shadows to be triggered and for you to work through them now what i'm seeing is i almost wanted to cut her head off like this like boop, the ha the situation off like this and see what's left is this beautiful star so she's got to get rid of all of this stuff here and so why they're showing this is that for you guys whether or not you're actually um, whether or not you have the sign of cancer inside of your natal chart, it really doesn't matter if this vis if this um <laughs> I'm sorry they're giving, they're putting words in my mouth and <laughs> I was gonna say if this video, but they're saying if this visit, so it's like you coming to this anyway, if this video uh, resonates with you, if this visit resonates you visited this this page here and if it resonates for you then this message is for you and they're saying long story short you are going to be receiving energetic information and downloads if you haven't already and that it's going to have an effect on your life in the physical now for some people those effects are are emotional like for me um most times what happens is as that information integrates it's emotional for me. I start getting depressed about stuff because I'm remembering things. I'm moving a lot of energy with respect to trauma, so a lot of grief things. And so it's just about knowing that the energy is coming up, let it out, right? Now for others, they get physical symptoms. Some people get the flu. That's another way of moving energy. Some people have body aches. Right now I'm having some shoulder pains. It's just like, ooh, right? all sorts of things for some of you maybe your acne will flare up i'm getting so you have to understand that these are symptoms of energetic stuff that is going on and so once you clear that energetic energy energetic stuff the blockages and whatnot these symptoms and these emotional states will clear up because the energy is no longer there to support those physical situations does that make sense guys if not um you know you can comment below now, a lot of you guys watching, and I, I, they, they really beat this home, and I, if you watch my videos, you know I say it all the time, I primarily work with people who are star seeds uh, or star beings of some sort, and they're here to do spiritual service. And so you may, if you ever feel like, oh my God, I want to get a reading from Janelle, and it could be you want a love reading, or you want to know where you left your keys, and God bless, whatever. You think that's what you're coming in for, but then it's really because spirit wants to talk to you about something else. So I'm seeing that here. A lot of you who view my, my channel, you guys have some spiritual service that you either are already aware of or you're not. Some of you may be like, oh, you know what, I've always felt like I'm supposed to do something, but I don't know what. And whereas some of you are like, oh, dude, I already know what I'm supposed to do. Well, Spirit is saying that in the month of April, thank you, God, they're saying they're going to be bringing this awareness to you. So if this reading resonates with you, then you should know that you're about to get a little bit of a tap on the shoulder. The tap on the shoulder is going to come from spirit in the form of ideas, dreams, whatnot. Uh, your sister-in-law could be like, hey, why don't you start your own YouTube channel and make a cookbook with it? You know, make a cookbook and then showcase all, and every video will be dedicated to um, a meal inside of the cookbook. Okay, if someone wants to use that idea, go right ahead. God bless, right? And so that would be your way of doing your spiritual service. And it'll be like oh my god yeah why don't I do that right so this is what's going to be happening for you in the month of April now once you do that I'm seeing that for some of you you'll be you'll be drawn towards people who are going to help you to make this this spiritual service I want to say this dream but you have to know that when you are on your spiritual service in and when you're on mission it feels like your passion it feels like something you've always wanted to do but what happens and now if they're pulling this card in right here is that you it's kind of like this you're like oh my gosh this is exactly what i want to do i do want to do hair for a living i do want to cook for a living i do want to whatever but as you get underway and you start to do that thing whatever it is you start to see that it's actually not about the cooking it's not about the hair it's not about the tarot it's not about whatever it's about the people that you're helping it's about the energy that you're bringing down and anchoring onto this world and it's some things are simple as wow modeling good behavior for people as to how to follow your dreams how to be in a constant state of happiness when 
when you are following your dreams, when you are passionate, you are promoting a healthy lifestyle because energetically speaking, blockages um, come from when you are not happy, when things have become what's the word when there's a spiritual dis-ease in the energetic field in other words disease all sorts of stuff so the happier that you are and i mean authentic happiness uh, and the more authentically you live a life then the healthier you are in many 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 ways and those are the kinds of people that spirit wants to work with because it's all about showing other people that there is another way to live life okay so i'm seeing in this cute little card here that a lot of you will start to come into contact with people who are going to help you make this journey all right some of you already know who if that person popped into your mind i'm getting babysitting for somebody somebody here is having kind of like uh, thoughts about wow i have so many neighbors around me who are really struggling they're working a lot um they're not you know paying much attention to the kids, the kids, there's a breakdown in the households, you know, somebody here on this call, one of you guys is having that thought, and I feel that you have possibly given thought to opening your house to, you know, the kids to come after school, and maybe you're not, maybe you don't work, or maybe you work from home, or maybe you just have the time to stay home, and you love kids, and you want to really be of service in that way, and God has moved your heart in that way. If that is you, then I feel that this is validation for you. And because what I'm seeing in that vision is you opening your house to these kids to come and play in the backyard. And, and maybe your house is a little bit like a wonderland, like you can show them stuff from the garden that you have back there. Some of them can watch TV if they want. They, you, you can, they can bring over their PlayStation if they want. And just a, play to, a place to go. Maybe you might give them lunch. Maybe the parents can start dropping by if they need a break. And, and what you're actually doing is administering to the kids and stepping in and helping those parents who may have some very real world issues and for whatever reason their job whatever and they just need literally a breather they literally need to take a breath and i feel that whoever this that um this uh message is for you know what's up and i think that you will be directed to doing that now they're calling me over to talk to you guys a little bit about what happens when you have an idea and you allow people oh sorry the i finished with that message <laughs> and transmission okay but then now they're calling me over here to show me a little bit about what happens to people when they allow their dreams to be pecked at like what do i mean by that take a look at these guys okay look at look at this this person had a dream it's in there but look they're letting other people and other people's ideas of wealth and of of valor and of uh, and of what constitutes meaningful activity and productivity dictate how they feel about what it is that they're trying to do look it's almost like this serpent it's like right just eating 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 away at this person's heart this person's joy and so this is a little bit of a warning for you guys they're saying please don't allow um the the thoughts of other people especially when people who, who don't have vision you know god bless god bless y'all if you don't have vision but don't try to tell me how to live mine and because a lot of times if you are awakened on your spiritual mission then you know exactly what you need to be doing and obviously the reason why you have a mission in the first place is because those kinds of things are not being done within the social um in within the mainstream society because people don't have the vision for that so you kind of have to be strong in what you're doing and push forward so other people can see that what you're doing has value but you, you and really we shouldn't care but you have to make sure that you don't allow people to chip away at at what um what you know to be what you want to um get done okay sorry hold on let me I'm seeing something else here um okay. good they're also showing this that's another that's another um this is another commentary on that so they're saying that a lot of you uh have this dream within your heart whatever your passion is whatever your spiritual mission is you come in and you kind of have an idea of it sometimes right it's in the back of your mind you not maybe not your conscious mind but every soul comes in with it who has one and look at this person he's like excited he's he's happy but look as he gets older and life starts to come in and he starts to feel like oh maybe i don't have what it takes blah 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 people are naysayers 
then they get con you get confused about it, right? Just like I said, the, the pecking. You get confused. They're showing that some people uh, actually get a little bit, dis or not a little bit, a lot discouraged, not only by, by life, but about because they don't know what to do. They It's like they see the goal, but they they feel trapped where they are. Look at that. That's his goal. But here he's got his backpack on and stuff. But it's like somehow he feels trapped and like he's not allowed to go towards that. He's he, he Even though he has everything he needs. Which is in stark contrast to when he was younger and he had all these ideas. And he felt unattached and he felt like he could do anything. By the way, these cards are amazing. They're personality cards by Paul Wagner. Great, great. Shout out. But look what happens when you follow that and you allow your dream to be lost. You get older. You get older. You settle into the mainstream hum, mainstream humdrum, hum, what is it? Humdrum, humdrum. Why am I? Anyway, mainstream life. <laughs> I'm, great, I'm crazy, crazy a little bit. Um, that's going to bug me. Why am I not get humdrum? Is that it? Yeah, maybe. Okay. And you start to get old and then you start to... Um, start focusing on other people you didn't take the path that you knew you needed to take and then boom you're gone and then guess what next lifetime you come in <laughs> you know this is between lives you cut you get that dream again you come in the next lifetime and hopefully this time you'll make it happen right hopefully you'll make it happen so um that's an example guys of what happens when you uh don't allow yourself to give yourself to this process. I'm also seeing here that ego slips in as well for a lot of people. It looks like they're showing a lot about the pitfalls of spiritual service and when you are not allowing yourself to dream and when you're not protecting that dream. Look at this. This person has started doing their dream. What if this person wanted to be a magician? But look at him taking advice from the ego or from people around him. Like, you know, you should probably make, if you, if you double this, you can make more money. If you decide to not give it away for free as a gift anymore and char start charging, you can double your income and you can this and then you can start this and that. And so ego is something we do have to be careful with. Any, and maybe there's no right answer, there's no wrong answer that can be applied to everybody because the truth is that there is such a thing as energetic exchange and I think we've gone well beyond that, um, that era where there's this idea that you cannot get paid for your services, whether it's lessons, whether it's spiritual stuff like what I do, whether it's um, giving somebody, you know, uh, fixing someone's car or just whatever. You have to go inside and you have to decide what is enough for you and you have to stick with that but when you are depriving yourself and you're like oh no i shouldn't get paid for this what happens is you're actually doing yourself a disservice and then you're creating an imbalance and you're not allowing other people to be in a position to be kind or to give to you or to show their appreciation and if you're on the way on the other side and then you're trying to ask for too much and you're taking advantage of other people that's no good either so you have to find a way to arrest that ego, connect with your highest self and through your highest self, connect with God and have that conversation. If you have to have that conversation every time you sit down to create a new service or to do something, then it just has to be done because you might, that's another way that you can lose your way when it comes to this spiritual service, whatever it is that you may be doing. Um, I'm also seeing in this, hold on. One sec. And this I'm seeing a little bit of a disconnect, right? Oops, sorry. <laughs> a little bit of a disconnect. Because all, to, to what I'm seeing here, it looks great. This person is helping the, this child. He's showing this child, you can be a cowboy too, you know? And he's extolling the virtues of being a cowboy and, and living your dreams and lassoing up and saddling up the, the old little doggies and all that. But see, he's holding a serpent back here. He's not walking his talk. Right? We see this a lot in a lot of people maybe who are living their dreams. Uh, you know, we a lot of us have been watching, what is that show? Tiger King, right? We see all these people who maybe one day when they were younger wanted to um, 
deal with lions and tigers and big cats and it was their passion they were so happy and and they found a way to make that dream come true and look at it look at all the stuff that went by the wayside and in the end it's almost like the animals what really brought people in didn't even matter anymore and there was one in one of the episodes of tiger king Joe Exotic was super self-aware, I found, and he said that it kind of broke his heart because when he gave his, um, it was the hardest day when he had to give his animals away, and when he gave his um, two, I think they were gorillas away, were they gorillas? God bless. Um, away, uh, he re it, and he saw where they ended up, and he saw like that they ended up wherever they were in a pasture, being able to roam free, and he saw that they were just holding each other all the time and having fun with each other and socializing and he felt he said he felt bad because all the time they were with him he had kept them in cages right next to each other but they were in a cage they weren't allowed to roam free and congregate let's put it that way and it's like he kind of was regretting because he's like it hurts to know that he was responsible for possibly keeping these these animals from their happiness and so what i'm trying to show here is this happens all the time when we see people in the celebrity world and when we see people who are who have their dreams come true and then somehow there's a perversion that happens and it usually comes by way of wanting too much fame wanting too much money wanting to be right all of these things that are typical trappings of um of uh the ego of humanity and we just have to work every lifetime we work harder and harder to not get into the trappings of it because guess what so you look at that look at her coming back again to, st to pluck this dream again um, and then reincarnate and look she reincarnates and you know and as this cowboy and still having to face this stuff and what happens guys is hopefully we do a little better every time but at the end of the day you still have to um, make comparisons you have to look at what is it that i wanted to do what is it that i actually did and what is my karma as a result right was i kind to people did i take from people did i um force things when they shouldn't have been done and at the end of the day that's the real balancing act so we all come in and it doesn't matter if you're um, a star being with a message with a message for the world and mission blah 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 and you know that's what I do and that's what a lot of you guys do and a lot of people do at the end of the day it's how are you doing it you know are you walking your walk are you can you look back and say I'm happy with the way I conducted things and that's the real test at the end right but why wait till the end to figure that out <laughs> so anyway all right, let's see where the spirit wants us to go next. Okay, they're showing what happens if you realize that, oopsies, I made a boo-boo, right? What happens if you made a mistake in whatever it is that you're doing? Well, what happens is, look, the tower's going to find you, you know? <laughs> God bless. You'll know you made a mistake because stuff is going to start crumbling, right? But that being said, if this represents the mistake, they're saying what you do then is you find a way to get to a place of peace look at this the five of um five of wands talks about turmoil and conflict but look at this five of wands in the after tarot everybody you can still feel the conflict you can still feel the pressure it's like tense it's like thick you can cut it but look at them they've all gotten to a place of being still and and focusing on what needs to be done they're saying that um you make that plan you investigate you know when to walk away from things and you give yourself credit where credit needs to be done G given but they also say that they also show that this is about also um getting to the point of where you're not only looking at where did i go wrong this is very important but where did the people i've been consorting with go wrong that's why it's right underneath the serpentine, right? It's like, who am I keeping company with? Hold those people accountable. Hold yourself accountable. You have to really do your due diligence. And when you get that intel based on that investigation that you do, you need to put things to rest. Let things go when they need to be let go. Release egos. Make the turnaround and recommit yourself to the real goal okay 
I'm sure, sure a lot of you may do that, but sometimes you can't change the past. You know, you may, you did, you may have done something that really hurt somebody, and yes, now you've learned from it, learned from it, but this person now must go on suffering and go on with the effects of what you've put in motion, what you've helped to put in motion. And sometimes you just have to do this due diligence here, be diligent, do your best, and recommit to the light. And know that when you pass on, all things will be made right, right? It's called karma, all right? It's called balancing. That's what karma really is. It's just uh, balancing. Whatever you put out there has to be balanced. And so you kind of hope that you have done good things because then you can experience good things, right? Wow, I really, I gave someone a house in my past lifetime. And so in this lifetime, I want to experience what it feels like to win a house because, wow, that would be great. Oh, wow, I took someone's house away last li- last lifetime and now I feel terrible about it now that... I'm here in the other side on the other side and I saw how it affected them and how it affected their kids and their community and boom 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 and onward and I realized that I myself also felt guilty about it even though I you know bragged about it or I never gave it a second thought there was I was carrying this guilt and I feel that I owe them something and it's not that you owe them something it's about you owing it to yourself to really understand the gravity of what you've done and so that's why when you come in the next lifetime, you're going to create, you're going to pen it into your your karmic notebook that when you come in this time, you're going to experience what it feels like to lose a home, right? Next thing in this lifetime, oh, your house went up in flames, or oh, the bank foreclosed on it, or oh, someone came in and stole everything but left the house, or oh, you had a divorce and they took the damn house, you know, whatever. So you have to understand a lot of times we are living the through the effects of what we've put out there in the past and sometimes it's hard for people to want to face that because it means that they'll have nobody to blame but themselves and that's just how it is and it becomes even harder when you're trying to counsel someone and they are not able to see that past lifetime link they're not able to see beyond the present moment of the pain then it just sounds like how dare you say that right but when you really get to a place and you sit down you make the connection and you understand what that was about and sometimes you really do need spirits help with that right um to get through certain blockages like denial rage you blame all of that and when you find out you're like oh yes i understand and it hurts, but I understand why I can't say anything. And then when you go on to the other side, you realize, okay, I t- check that box because I did want to have that experience because I wanted to understand what it felt like to lose that. Okay? So anyway, guys, Spirit is making all of this our priority for this reading, which is awesome. All right. Um, and it's very timely because right now as we're going through this quarantine, a lot of people have been, are finally you know getting the time that they need to get it back in touch with their with their shadow side they're getting a lot of time to think and they're and when i say shadow side they're starting to see all the things that the fears that are popping up all the stuff the belief patterns that they have right it's it's full it's full frontal now um but they're also getting a, a chance to get in touch with their creativity and that's a beautiful thing when you're getting in touch with their creativity you're getting in touch with who you really are and that is the gift that is the gift that you can personally deliver to the world even if all your creativity manifests as or with your passion is a differently colored um shoelaces like you have a shoelace line now right that's your idea and you love it and you know it's you being creative and it's a really good time right now for this message to come through because as we come out of this worldwide quarantine or collective experience people are going to be hitting the ground running in this new energy and a lot of light workers will have awakened a lot of people will be getting into their passions and it's so important to have these kinds of messages so that you make sure that you put your best foot forward right And these are things we already know on the subconscious. It's just about getting it to the conscious mind so that we can make good decisions while we're here. Okay, another commentary that they're trying to bring about this spiritual service and about following your passions is that they're looking at the role of um, 
familial relationships because look at this cute little kitty cat <laughs> cute super cute that's you the viewer um he's looking up but his mom for example in this storyline his mom is not really present for him in this storyline um, the mom is egotistical or the mom is unavailable in some way for whatever reason i'm also seeing that some of the moms are supposed to be that way to give this this little kitty cat the soul's experience right some of sometimes the mom is involved in in social service and something like that where that requires their attention and the kitty cat can't get um you know the love from the mom what happens is that as the cat grows up now look at the cat has become the horse right as the cat grows up there's some stuff lacking right there's low self-worth there are things like that they're just giving this little storyline to show you how a lot of our times a lot of the times our childhoods um leave us bereft of something that we really need to help us feel wholehearted to help us feel wanted to help us feel worthy to help us feel like we have something of value to contribute to the world to help us feel seen and heard all sorts of stuff and so there's a sense of lacking and from that sense of lacking a lot of times we go out into the world and we promote actions and we we act out amongst amongst the world and we act onto the world and onto the people of the world from these places of um, sadness, of rage, of bitterness, of, of anger, of of guilt and shame. And so look at this. This is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is all about fast-moving energy. This is a very dynamic card, and it reminds us that what we put out there has long-reaching and far-reaching effects. If you think that you were just making a joke with that kid behind you in chemistry class when you said those mean words to him and whatnot, ah, he's forgotten it. Dude, He's now he's 36, and he hasn't forgotten it. He may think he's forgotten it on some level, but it's in there, and if he hasn't worked through it and he took it hard, you know, guess what? That's That's all part of his eight of wands now, and that's why it's important for all of us to find a way to do our healing so that we can minimize the effects of our core wounding and um, the effects of our rage and anger and all of that. Because look, you're going to act out onto the world and you can still create things in the world. You can still become the next CEO, right? But are you going to be a CEO who actually, for example, that could be anything. Are you going to be somebody whose creations and whose stamp on the world actually blesses the world? Or are you going to allow those things from the past that are unhealed to rule the way you do things and hurt other people? So we really, ha we really have to be responsible for what it is that we put out there. And yes, we may have um, unsavory backgrounds and, and family situations and whatnot. And yes, a lot of times we, we are aware. We, if not all times, we're aware before we come onto this planet, we're aware of what our sacred chart is and what we're going to be up against, right? And of course, people do have free will. But you know, you came in hoping and thinking, I can do this. I'm going to make sure that my, I'm going to be born into this family where blah, 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 and alcoholism and divorce runs rampant and this parent's sick and that cousin this. But I know I can make a difference. I can overcome it. I can transcend it. And then here you are. And then it's harder than you thought. And, you know, that's why it, the age that we're living in is so great because we have access to everything through the internet. You can get counseling on YouTube for crying out loud. <laughs> so there's so much available to us, but we have to do our due diligence in creating conditions for our healing to occur so that we can be positive forces upon the world because I'm telling you this if you even doesn't matter if you're a star seed sent from the 12th dimension all the way down through the pleiades and this and that to you know it doesn't matter if you don't get a handle on ego and all of those things that are so easy to fall into while you're here on this earth then you know you can be rendered ineffective or or worse you could affect people in the negative nobody is perfect guys but nobody is a saint we we all have our burdens and we all have to work through it all right so if you ever meet a spiritual healer or anyone in in that field who thinks they've got it all fixed and figured out and 
that's you know that's probably a sure sign that they don't <laughs> it's kind of like what i tell uh, my students like if you ever have a teacher who who acts like they don't have anything else to learn or or they're not willing to say that they made a mistake you know in the classroom then maybe you have to take a different approach to how you consume their information okay it just makes sense we're not teaching people to follow, we're teaching people to, to think for themselves, all right? Okay, so the last few cards are just for expounding upon that. They are, hmm? expounding, expanding? Anyway, um, they're saying that a lot of times we walk through the world with, broke it, with a broken heart, and every time we have a broken heart and we don't fix it, we just bandage it, it just gets worse and worse, right? And so it's kind of the same message it leads people to see themselves as not valuable and that alone can shut down anything that you wanted to bring onto this earth because here you are second guessing about doing things and <laughs> I guess I'm a little guilty of that myself I keep saying okay I'm gonna go live I'm gonna try it I'm gonna do that and but then I'm like no it's scary to go live and what if this doesn't happen what if that happens and what if and what happens is what if what if God's been like Janelle you need to go live because we want to channel through you and we want you to get on it and every time I'm like no I'm scared I'm scared I'm scared you know there's there's something that's not coming through right so we do have to watch that and also talking about disappointments a lot of times we have disappointments happen in life and it's hard when you get all the way up to king status you you got married you had the kids you you know you bought the house or you or for example king of pentacles you started the company now you're the president of it and you're running it and whatever it is and all of a sudden it's like back to the drawing board you know, they took the house or, or your wife ran away with, with the carny man or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, if that happened to somebody, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like carnival workers, I don't know why they still there. But anyway, um, yeah, my point is <laughs> they're saying when we deal with capital disappointments, if we don't deal with it rather, that's another way that we can stymie our contribution to the world so we want to make sure that we're always promoting healing and doggone it the last one it's a big one indecision oh when you have indecision oh and even worse failure to act good lord when you when you are just remaining indecisive about something you're waiting for someone else to tell you what to do waiting to get permission waiting to feel safe enough to do it because you know there's certain groups out there that don't want what you want to say out there and and they want to suppress you and you're afraid that's understandable right but it's leaving you in this place of indecision like oh should i should i not time is passing you don't do your work or even you just have failure to act like ah, i give up i'm not gonna do it someone else will do it <clears throat> what kills a dream faster than that right <clears throat> notice how i'm talking about that my throat's getting all oh my god i have water <laughs> one second <sighs> all right <laughs> how often do we get to do that all right, so guys, underneath the deck over here, check it out, spiritual service, that makes total sense. That is the main topic of today's reading, basically. Yeah, it's all about spiritual service. So looks like uh, it's it came through for um, you guys. God bless cancer. But I feel like this month, guys, you know, look, I got to keep it real. Sometimes I don't want to do the signs. I don't want to do Aries and Taurus and Gemini and Cancer. And, because the fact is that the messages that are being channeled through my channel are for everybody. And I find myself more and more putting everyone slash Cancer. And it's like, it's like, I don't know, I'm going to keep labeling it that. But please, if you're listening, do yourself a favor and get out of the 3D thinking, third dimensional thinking and like, well, I'm an Aries, I can only watch Aries videos. Or I have Scorpio in my chart, so I can watch a Scorpio also. It doesn't matter what your sign is. If it comes into your energetic space, it is something that might pertain to you. So I'm going to label it as such. And I guess, you know, God bless use your discernment because as you guys and all of us as we raise our 
energetics, our raise our frequency, we have to start leaving behind old things like labeling. Dear God, okay, sorry, not to get on my soapbox, get all mad about it. You know, I'm getting all salty about it right now. Um, but yeah, I saw a lot of people got really mad at Water Baby Spirit when she was, when ba Water Baby Spirit, Water Baby, what Water Baby Spirit, was that it? Anyway, by Bommy Spirit, <laughs> Water Baby, Water Baby Tarot, yeah. she People are getting mad when she eliminated her, her, um, her signs. I'm like, dude, eliminate it. If it doesn't work anymore, get rid of it. And if you're a watcher and you're getting mad that something like that's being eliminated, that's because chances are you are not um, growing with the channel. The channel has to change in the way that it should. And you have to start growing with it and you have to start using your discernment. As you use your discernment and you go to the new earth like everybody wants to, you're going to have to realize you're going to have to um, release these old labels, okay, and start using your inner guidance. And just you go on YouTube and you look, yes, yes, no, no, yes. And that's how it's going to be. You'll know which videos are for you. It's almost like you don't even need to know the the um, the title, like this. Ideally, I can literally just feel whether which card, okay, okay, maybe this card. And I know I don't have to look at it. This is the card I need for this reading, right? I know some of you guys are like, <laughs> what's the card? fourth ray of harmony bah! six okay whatever the point is um you got to get into alignment guys okay so please i'm trying to tell everybody but I, I sometimes i just forget and i'm just hoping people will know go towards any readings anywhere or any where in life that that starts to resonate with you in the heart space and and ask your guides to help you with that don't get stuck on the labels okay all righty guys love you guys Mwah. if you'd like a personal reading with me um you can check below donations are definitely welcome thank you so much um also remember that I, i'm offering a new same day reading and it'll be written t -t -t still with love because if you get readings from me you know that's what's up that's just what's coming down the pike um also uh what was i gonna say hmm. Hmm. oh i guess that's it okay all right, guys, have a beautiful day, and bye! Mwah.